Hi, Joel Phillips here, founder of ProShark and director of technology at Strategic Advisor Board, here with episode number five of Tech Tips. And this is where we try to answer in about three to five minutes, uh, working on that uh, time frame in about three to five minutes, um, answer questions regarding digital footprint, how you can increase your presence digitally, what you can do to have impact in the digital space. And it's become such an important space, um, especially since 2020, where more and more people are online working remotely. 98% of the population does their initial purchase research on online now. Most people use mobile to, or tablet browsers as their starting point. And we had a question that, I mean, we've been working on website optimization. We've been looking into customer journey but we had a question I'm gonna sidestep for today. We had a question come in regarding website security. So this is, it's, it's a big question and it may take us a couple of episodes to get through this, but website security is becoming more and more of a, a hazard for small to medium-sized businesses. And it's something that has to be taken into consideration, whether you're working with a marketing agency, whether you're doing it yourself, you have to look at security as one of your primary factors when it comes to websites and your digital presence. And what I mean by that is hacking is not decreasing. Hack is, hacking is increasing. And that means that as the hacking population increases, they need more and more targets and they need easier targets because they'll always the path of least resistance is always going to be their target their their primary modus operandi just like everybody else path of least resistance means that people small to medium sized businesses who don't think that they're going to be a target who uh, don't pay attention to security who think that the cost of security is enormous it's not and if far is it's far cheaper to pay a little bit for peace of mind and security now than it is to go back and try and clean up a hack or a breach where your domain is hijacked, where your um, your anything technology, your computer is on white ransomware, where you have phishing. I mean, phishing is getting, and I think this is pretty obvious, but phishing is getting very sophisticated to the point where even technology experts are being um, lured into providing information that they would not otherwise provide. So it's really something that needs to be taken seriously. Today, I want to focus on, we've got a little bit of time left. I want to focus on website security. No matter, and I'm, I'm not here to pick on WordPress, but I'm going to a little bit today because no matter what website platform you use, there are security holes and you have to look at where those security holes come from to be able to prevent them. WordPress is a collection of plugins. It's a platform that typically has a builder associated with it. Anytime you introduce a third party to a platform. And what I mean by that is if you use WordPress with Divi, if you use WordPress with Elementor, if you use WordPress with Beaver, those are all third-party plugins or builders that you put into the platform. And yes, they went back to their own block building with Gutenberg. Uh, but if you put any of those third-party elements into a platform, then what tends to happen is it creates security holes that people can exploit. Then you take a look at not only the builder, but you step back and take a look at all of the plugins they deploy. And we're talking not thousands we're talking not hundreds not thousands we're talking millions of people on wordpress platforms that have been hacked attacked data stolen websites hijacked this is something that you need to take seriously when you consider where do you put your website who do you place your trust in when it comes to website development because every plugin that you put into a wordpress platform the issue i have with it is built by a third party and moderately vetted for security vulnerability, but the majority of hacks come in, when you set up a WordPress website, they come in automated attacks, 
uh, via the web. People who search go out and just have bots that search for WordPress sites and they try and exploit. If you leave your login URL all in the same place, if you don't mask your URL, if you leave administrator or admin as, as your default login, then they'll exploit it on website launch for WordPress. But then as you install plugins, the majority of attacks come in through plugin exploits because these plugins are built by third parties. So when you look at a CMS system, take a look and see if the plugins are built and held on external platforms or if they're build, built and held and vetted internally. For that reason, we use a certain framework that uh, is highly secure and one that is proven not to be exploited. So that minimizes your risk of intrusion. It minimizes your risk of ransom. It minimizes uh, your risk of hostage taking when it comes to your digital assets. So security is something that's super important. We'll leave it at websites today. I'll finish off security tomorrow by talking about your network, uh, whether it be remote, whether it be um, a physical network that you utilize at work. And then once we get past security, we'll go back to uh, website presence and things that you can do to either optimize or revamp your website. So that's it for today. Thank you for joining. If you do have a question, send it to us at, at techtip at proshark.com, T-E-C-H-T-I-P at proshark.com. Thank you for viewing and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.